Saturn's also really important, not just for the rings, but for its moons as well. And I've already mentioned Titan here. Titan's bigger than Mercury, so it's a massive moon. Um, and Saturn has over 60 moons, and each one is incredible in its own right. Um, this top right picture here is a photo of Titan. Um, that's the one that was visited by the Huygens probe, which is why we know a fair amount about, a fair amount about it. Um, Titan is incredible because it's the only other object in our solar system that we know has lakes, rivers, rain, maybe even rainbows on it. It has a weather system and it has liquid on the surface. And that's the only other place we, we know in the solar system that has that. Um, the difference is, for Titan, it's not liquid water. It's actually liquid methane, um, which has a little bit of a different slant on it. If you're thinking about pretty rainbows made out of liquid fart, not so, uh, not so pleasant. But still, it's still really important. Um, and because it's so big and because it's got these ponds of methane in it, it's kind of similar to what primordial Earth could have been like. So it's quite important for us to know what, ti uh, what Titan's like, because if we could visit it in some million years, we don't know how it might evolve. It might evolve into something very like Earth. Um, Saturn has more interesting moons. There's Hyperion, which is basically a massive lump of coral um, floating about in space. It looks like a sponge, and it's, um, it's made out of very, very porous rock. And it's just such a weird shape. It just That is orbiting Saturn. I mean, imagine if our moon looked like that. It would be quite, quite weird. Um, and then we have Mimas, which is one of my favourites. Mimas has a massive crater in it, the Herschel crater. It's about the th a third of the size of its, um, of its moon. And if we had a crater like that on the Earth, it would completely wipe out Australia. That's how big it is. So ignore all the stuff that's going on in Russia and, and stuff like that at the moment. Um, just think about this poor little moon. And on the other side, where the crater, the opposite side to where the crater is, there's massive fissures in the side of the moon, um, which, uh, because of the collision, it just sent shockwaves through the whole moon. And it could have exploded it completely, but it, uh, luckily it didn't. Um, and one of the reasons it's my favourite moon is because it looks like something in science fiction, and I love it when science fiction and science fact come together. Anyone guess what it is? Yeah? Yeah, the Death Star. It looks really similar to the Death Star. But George Lucas has um, assured us that he designed the Death Star three years before the first close-up picture of Mimas came about. So he thought of it first and then nature came second. <laughs>